It's a beautiful morning here and I'm heading to a client meeting. I usually don't do client meetings early in the morning because I like to be productive and get work done, but they've specifically asked for a one-time morning meeting and so I'm heading there right now. The thing about this project though is that it's been going on for a while and they're always asking for a little expansions and so I've, you know, added sections and, and a little bit more money for every section that they're asking to add, but I don't really know where I'm standing in in terms of how much time I've spent already in the project and you know versus how much I charge you know I, I never charge per hour but I did price the project you know thinking that I'm gonna it's gonna take me a certain amount of time and I don't really know how much time I've spent already so I'm gonna have to work through this today to make sure that the project is still profitable but right now I'll head to the meeting <laughs> Right, so this day was pretty intense had the client meeting had to do some work and be really really focused because I had to finish early to come back home and spend time with my son Reef taking care of him while my wife is at school but I had the chance to uh, track the times that I work on this project and I want to show you how I did it because actually it wasn't that simple so basically I want to show you how I used to work and what I do right now so when I just started freelancing, I used a tool called Toggle to track how much time I'm working on each project. And let me show you. Toggle is a super simple tool. You come here, you write what you're working on. So let's say Prospero, uh, and then it starts playing. And as you can see, the time is ticking here. Um, and you're supposed to do that when you start working. And then when you finish working, you just click stop. And then you have, you can see at the end of the month, a report of how much you worked on a project. Basically, that would be great but what's the problem with that you always forget either to turn it on or turn it off so it doesn't I mean when I started freelancing I used to force myself into do that and I used to mostly get it right and so I learned how much things are taking uh, but after I learned that I kind of do good estimates I actually stopped using it because again it's a hassle I never remembered to turn it on turn it off so I just stopped using it by the way I am working right now with a remote illustrator that's helping me out on this project and she's actually tracking her time and billing me through because she's uh, billing me hourly so I can actually see a report of how much she's working and that's awesome for me but for me personally to track my own hours uh, it's not practical I'm not gonna do that so just the other week a customer actually recommended me another tool which called timely and let me show you that so basically timely is a little app that sits here on uh, your computer and it's actually tracking everything you do on your computer so at the end of the day you can see actually how much time you spend uh, in sketch or in, in your browser or whatever you did but the thing is that it also syncs with my calendar and at the end of the day it looks so confusing that it's really hard for me to tell how much time I was spending on each project basically I'm supposed to click here and then edit uh, log this time to some project to know that this time was added on this project so this is so confusing and so much work I'm actually not gonna do that as well so I want to show you what I ended up doing basically what how I work is I usually block time in my calendar to know that this is what I'm gonna be working on this is a good way for me to kind of go into the deep work session I know that I have a block of three hour working on the project sometimes there's tiny interruptions in between usually I try to not have interruptions in between but what happens right now is that I have a backlog when I'm looking at my calendar of how many blocks I dedicated to a project so far and so I took this um, simple calculator Numi which is a great app and I just listed all the sessions that I have for this project and so far it, it's been uh, logged into 76 hours now this is what I did so far and now in order for me to know how much uh, I'm in with how much I budgeted for the uh, project I'm just saying okay I priced this project around uh, $25,000 and I want to make $250 an hour and so I divide let's say 25 hours in uh, 
250, that actually comes out to 100 hours. And since I'm 76 hours in, I know that I have probably 25 more hours, 24 more hours to actually finish the budget. And when I'm actually thinking about this and coming back to our meeting this morning, that seems feasible. And so I know that I'm on the right track to make the hourly rate that I wanna make. Again, I'm not charging my clients by an hourly rate, but I have a standard which I want to hit. Um, obviously, if I'm gonna make this in less than 100 hours, then my hourly rate, if I calculate this, is gonna actually be higher. I'm actually gonna try and push my hourly rate into $350 an hour. Uh, that's what I'm gonna try to estimate for the next project. So it's been kind of a boring task to calculate the calendar hours, but it was the simplest way that I could do uh, without using any of the fancy tools that were actually too complicated to use. Anyway, I'm gonna hang out with Reef here. Um, so you guys have a great day and uh, I will catch you tomorrow.